Yo guys, welcome back to another tutorial. We've got another image sent in from Marvin here. So we're gonna try to recreate the closest we can with the images he has sent me. Let's get over to his Instagram. Okay, so his links will be down in the description, guys. If you like his work, go down there, give him a follow. So obviously really vibrant tones. So we might be bringing up the vibrance just a little. And then overall, there's probably just a bit of warmth, say in the highlights and mid-tones. So you can see the skin tones, they go quite a yellow and have a warmth to them. So so I might do that with the curves. And then for the shadows, I think there might be a hint of blue, just a little bit of blue in those blacks. And I might also do that with the curves. There's quite a bit of contrast. So lately I've been doing really faded out styles. We won't be doing a heavy fade in the blacks. All the highlights for this one, there is a little bit of a shine though. So we'll just bring them up slightly. Really, really nice work. I'll just show you a few of his photos. So yeah, really beautiful tones. And yeah, just come down. We're going to be working with uh, this shot right here. So quite a few colors, quite a bit of shadow and highlights there. So skin tone, so be a good image to work with. If you like his work, links down in the description, guys. Right, let's get into this edit cropping. Let's take a look at that. So nothing major, just taking off the empty space up the top, down the bottom. Let's go back. Okay, so let's up the exposure a bit. Just overall, it looks a bit brighter. Let's go with something like that. First of all, I would always start with a preset, but I don't want to just apply a preset on and teach you guys, but I have the tone curves here already done. This is a curves preset. So if I hit curves 10, that's what this preset is here. You guys have access to the presets in my course, continually updated my complete collection, but don't worry, I'll still show you the curves and explain them. So here we have an S curve in the red, green and blue channel and his image like i said has quite warm tones and some green tones in the highlights too so and even in the skin tones uh they can go quite a yellowy green so in this curve you can see we've got like a little bump to the greens in the mid tones so a bit less reds more greens there and then as for the blues they're they're pulled out a bit and then that just introduces a bit more warmth especially in the highlights there so a little less blue there in the highlights there and that brings more yellow more warmth into the highlights so nice curve there and then this one just sort of flattening out the image a little but the main thing is the that fade we've got there down the bottom and then just keeping those really bright whites down just a touch okay so moving on with the rest of the edit let's just drop the contrast looks a little too grungy for what i want but what we will do now this is really hard to describe but i'll bring up the d haze so he's got quite rich tones i think d haze does that for us yeah it's very hard to describe but i think that works for us if i had to guess what d haze does it kind of brings down the highlights a lot sort of has the same effect as bringing down the highlights and the shadows a bit so for this edit we're going to go with a bit of d haze and d haze really adds a lot of depth to your image so like if I bring down highlights, you can see how much depth that brings back. So dehaze for this one. Do a touch of softness. And then some vibrance. He's got some rich tones. Bring the highlights up just for a bit more kick. And then whites for a bit more punch as well. And blacks. We don't want those blacks too harsh. So I sort of just look at the amount of detail. And they look a little harsh at the moment. Let's just bring them up. Okay, so we're pretty good with white balance. Okay, let's come down to split toning. So the main thing I would do here is we could have done this in the curves, but I'll just do a bit extra in the uh, split toning here. So I just want that warmish green that we have identified. I want just a little bit of that in the highlights. And then as we while we're here, we'll just drop that sharpening. I think, yeah, not too much sharpening as images. I, I don't think we need grain or anything. So now let's just come to HSL and then we'll just fine tune our colors. Okay, first off the blues, we want way more teals. So we've already done a bit of our colors like with the curves and stuff. So before and after, you can see we bring in a lot of those yellowish greens just by the curves. We won't have to introduce too much of those yellowy greens down here in HSL. Just take out a few of those reds. You can see like here's a red here. Over here it looks way more orange than his one. Just roll with that. Blues, as you can see, his is a nice teal. Our truck is a bit more, especially right up there in the corner there. We want a bit more of a teal. 
magenta. Just leave it purple. We could actually take purple out a bit. You can see that's actually in the truck as well, right there. Just take purple down, leave it how it is. Go a bit that direction. Okay, so I don't think we need to move our yellows and stuff too much. Okay, so now on to saturation. So our greens, like especially back there, we want them really down. Now we lose quite a bit of saturation in the dress. I'm not sure if we want to try to keep that by brushing the dress possibly. Bring down the yellows. So our image, looking at your this image, you might think, to bring the yellows up because like we said he's got some yellowy green tones in his image but we've already done that with split toning and the curves so this could actually come down so those original yellows would be quite desaturated but they'll still hold a lot of yellows because we've placed them in with curves and split toning reds we'll just bring them out a bit so like her lips and bits of her skin tone come out a bit more uh, let's make those blues pop and then let's do some luminance let's get those yellows popping and then skin tone, maybe bring it down. We will for this one, just for those rich skin tones. And now the last adjustment is a brush here. And I've already placed it for you guys. So just press O, you can see where it's affecting. And let's up the exposure. She is sitting in quite a bit of shadow. And then let's up the contrast, usually when you bring up contrast. Usually when you bring up exposure, you wanna bring up contrast. I think we're pretty good. You can see like this car window. I think that's where a lot of purples were up in that corner of the sky. I think even bring down the purple saturation or shift them, maybe help them towards this way. Get less of that purple, get more of that teal. We're looking pretty good. I'd spend more time on the skin tone and nicely affecting the skin tones. We just really quickly chucked a brush on. I would make sure I had that perfect. We look maybe a bit too green. So you maybe play around with oranges, but we'll just keep it there. I think it's really close and we'll just bring back a few more greens. Okay, so as you can see, like something isn't quite matching up with our reds, especially like this is real red, but that's quite orange. So I suspect he is doing something in the calibration, but I won't get too far into that in this video. He's probably doing something like that because over here, if we shift our oranges to match up his oranges, I feel like we lose all of the reds in our lips. So not too sure about that, but I think we're really close. Okay, so what I wanna do is just copy settings Okay, so let's select all of this, copy, let's go over to another image. Right, so we've got another image here and let's just see how our colors go from our last one. Just quickly show you the crop before I do that. Just brought it down, get rid of a bit of sky. Let's apply those settings from the last one. Paste, let's brighten it. So after brightening it quite a bit, we can bring up the warmth. You can see we've got a lot of blues. We want way more warm tones in there. Bang. And just like that, we're getting pretty close. Now, a very obvious thing is those clouds. You can't see them in ours. Also, her shirt's a bit bright. So when I think I can't see the clouds or anything, drop the highlights. It's going to bring back lots of detail. You can see we can just see those clouds now. Go with that. Drop the contrast a touch, but too much contrast. Uh, whites maybe up for a bit more pop. Okay, so if we just work on our tones now, so we've probably got too many blues, so let's drop them back. And they could also be a little more purple, so let's pull this back too. Maybe a touch towards the teals. Uh, so we definitely want to bring our yellows back, so you can see like her hair and all that lacks a lot of saturation. Let's bring a lot of the yellows back in the image. We need more oranges, so like her skin tone, let's bring that up. Those greens could go back down, possibly. Let's keep them around there. And then luminance. So her face is quite dark. We could brighten it with a filter or a brush or something. But I might try the luminance. See what this does. Maybe should do it with a brush, but we'll just do it with luminance. Okay, so especially in those yellows, you can hear, see her hair is very yellow. So we are lacking an orange tone to that. So let's grab the yellows this direction. those reds you can see especially that car light we could drag a long way Go this far and yeah we're about good i'm not quite happy with our skin tone she looks a bit washed out especially in terms of color might bring those reds back 
We sort of don't match up the car light again, but we're losing the reds in her lips. And I sort of don't want to do that. Let's get a bit more reds into her skin tone. Let's just do a quick brush on her face. Contrast, brightness. And yeah, I'd debate maybe our blues being a bit more of a teal. So if we just went about like that, then possibly also our greens or like our aquas, uh, they're about good, but maybe some luminance to the blues. But I mean, in very few clicks, we get very close. It's not the exact same, but very close. And yeah, if we just hit the reset, here's our before and after, bang. I think there's maybe a smoother roll off to the whites that we look a little harsh. Could bring the whites down a bit. Maybe something like that. But yeah, again, before, after, if we just put our other image up, here's the before and after of our first one as well. And I actually just want to fix up the skin tone. So we just look a little too green like in her skin in there. And definitely a hat looks way more green than over in his image. So what I'm thinking is that hat's got a lot of yellows in it. So let's bring the yellows this direction. You can see it affects the skin tone a little bit. Down its saturation a bit more. And then I reckon we don't need the luminance of the skin tones down so much. And then, yeah, we might have brushed too bright now since I've brought this, since I um, have brought the luminance up. But we're looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Still a little bit green, but yeah, I might just leave it there. All right, guys, comment down below what you guys liked about this tutorial and head down into the description, guys, and you can go give Marvin a follow down there. If you guys are interested in presets, the course, guest editors. So in my course, I have guest editors that are guest experts, really, and then they teach you guys how they edit their photos. And not only that, you get the raw image as well. I'm yet to actually take a course that gives you the raw images. I personally believe raw images are really valuable to start learning. That's why I offer all my raw images in my course because I've taken some courses and they don't give you the raw images, but every guest editor in my course is providing the raw image so you guys can follow along step by step. Same with my tutorials within the course and every practical work through we go through, I'm providing you guys the raw images for the course. So, and if you guys want a free training on one tip, to get the style you want then head down into the description and sign up for the free training guys and also go follow the course page on instagram link down in the description as well and that's all from me guys catch you in the next one